what is up everyone and welcome to another video and today i will be putting back the oil filter housing that i broke in the last video so i got the new one and i started with uh, you know cleaning uh, all this just so it's a bit nicer uh, when it's on the car and I already took the broken oil housing out of the car so I changed the sensors I already took the seal that was uh, on this and put it here and yeah now it's time uh, to put uh, the not broken one uh, on the car so okay uh, let's go Okay, so now it's time for the alternator and hopefully I won't break this thing like I did on the uh, last uh, oil filter housing. Okay, so the wiring for the angel eyes. Basically, you have a black wire which is ground, then you have the red wire that is plus with the fuse, then you have the white wire which uh, basically means that if you connect it to the door lightning and you open the door or unlock the car, then the angel eyes should light up. Then you have the signal wire which is for the light switch and the last two wires you have for the angel eyes itself so they can be connected now this uh, might look uh, like uh, a bit of mess but let me show you how i'm trying to connect it okay so the easiest thing is to remove this plastic that is right here it's pretty simple there are just you know uh small clips so everything will be uh, somewhere somewhere here. What you want to do is take the red wire, which is plus, and put it somewhere probably like here. Yeah, like here. Then you will take the black cable, which is the ground, and put it right there. I don't know if you can see it, but there is. Uh, I will zip tie it somewhere like here, the relay itself. And then you will run these wires for the angel eyes. Just connect it. The same thing is for the other side. I will uh, try to put the wires uh, between somewhere like here, and just so it's hidden and it's not uh, and it's not seen on the first side. This is the signal wire for the light switch. So yeah, it's gonna be connected with this thing. The white wire, which is for the angel eyes to light up when you uh, unlock the car or open the doors this wire i will not be using because i don't need it and i think it's not necessary so yeah
Okay, so since I'm wiring the Intel eyes, I found two issues with my transit glass. It's not a big deal, but I really want to fix it. So if you look at the wires for the transit glass, they are almost you know torn and the same thing is on this side it's uh it's you know like nothing big but i really want to fix it so i don't have to deal with it later and i found uh, that you can buy these cables oem and they're for a reasonable price and it's not expensive so yeah i will probably buy them and fix it later so this cable is the signal cable which uh when you turn the light on this will send signal to the relay that turns on the angel eyes itself and you have to pick the right cable of course and and i don't want to use this but if you really want to not mess it up for your future self i don't want to do this i don't want to do this so i will have to find the right wire and then i will try my best have another wire that is coming from the, the wire that should switch up the angel eyes and then connect this wire to another wire that which is the uh, angel eyes i know it's uh, probably really messed up and you probably don't understand at all but yeah uh, i will try my best and show you later what i mean okay so i got everything hooked up and it's ready to actually test it so yeah let's see if uh, everything is correctly uh, you know plugged and etc okay well never mind so there is somewhere a bad connection i guess let me try something okay so i'm back and i fixed it the angel eyes are working right now so i know where the problem was i found the problem and unfortunately i switched the wires so the red wire that is the signal wire right there this this one uh is supposed to be a signal wire like uh, the positive wire for the relay to actually switch and then turn the angel eyes on and before I had this signal wire wired to the negative wire for the bulb. So it was in, on the negative side. And that's the reason why my angel eyes weren't working. It's solved. Now I have to, you know, make it look pretty because this is disgusting. You know, it's pretty easy to install and pretty easy to, to wire the angel eyes itself. So on my TikTok account, I was installing my new tail lights. They're smoked, you probably don't know that, but I'll show you how they look right now. And you know, it might be a really good combo with the angel eyes and smoked uh, lights around the car. So the first thing must have mod is, you know, LED license plate lights. This is how it looks. And these are my smoked tail lights for my E36. I still have to wire the other one, but yeah, this is how they look. And I'm so freaking happy with that because I had my old tail lights and they, you know, it was pretty much OEM, but I didn't like them. And uh, I really wanted to try smoked tail lights since pretty much almost everyone had them and they look really good so yeah i bought these tail lights for the sedan it was pretty much hard to find them everyone has scoop and you know it's hard to find anything for the sedan like uh, even body kits etc this might be a little bit of teaser for what's coming so yeah and i'm really happy with the angel eyes they look absolutely amazing uh, i can even use uh, the cd lights which are pretty much only on european e36s that's what i found so yeah uh now that i know the angel eyes are working i can fix uh, the cables since i really don't want to use uh you know correction like this so yeah uh let me fix it and i will probably get back later okay so thank you so much for watching you can like comment subscribe and yeah so the finished wiring uh, that i will be doing right now i will show you in the next video so yeah thank you so much for watching and see you next time